Hey everyone, this is Kyle with Digital Tutors, and in today's top tip video, I'm going to show you how you can gain a lot more control over the placement of your Photoshop marquees. All right, so uh, as you're working in Photoshop, you've probably found a lot of times that a marquee selection is a very, very important and very fundamental part of what you do. So as you're working along and using marquees, uh, you can come in here and obviously drag out a marquee and now have uh, really whatever you want, only affect just this area. The problem is that whenever you're trying to marquee around a very, very particular area, it can be really, really difficult to get exactly the right placement. So for example, if I wanted to come in a little bit tighter, and let's say try to get in on one of these uh, little circular uh, portholes here, if I tried to use something like an elliptical marquee, you can see where if I tried to get this to align perfectly to this porthole, it's almost impossible to come in here and get this aligned perfectly. There's a lot of trial and error involved in uh, getting this. So one thing that is incredibly useful within Photoshop is the fact that we can interactively move these marquees as we're placing them. So at this point, if I were to come in and draw out my marquee, okay, now at this point I have not let off my mouse, I'm still pressing and holding on my mouse button, but what I can do is while I'm still pressing and dragging, I can now tap my spacebar, or rather press and hold my spacebar, and move this marquee around. Now as soon as I let off my spacebar, I can continue to click and drag and resize this. So now you can start to see where getting your marquees aligned and exactly where they need to be can become a much more manageable process. And we can use this trick with uh, either of our marquee types, a rectangular or an elliptical. We can also use this with some other features inside of Photoshop. So for example, if we were to use something like the line tool, we can come in here and draw out our line. Now using this exact same uh, technique, I can press and hold my space bar, move this line to wherever I need it, let off my space bar, and continue to place this with my mouse. As soon as I let off, there's my line. So really this has been just a very, very quick look at how we can come in and use something as simple as our space bar to come in and give us now a much, much greater depth and much a higher level of control over the placement of our marquees inside of Photoshop. So be sure to check back often for more Digital Tutors Top Tips.